Hey guys, what is up? This is Lucullio here coming at you guys with another TCG1 video. Um, today, we are going to uh, test out my build of Mega Gardevoir. Now, I've done a deck profile on this because I actually own this deck in real life on uh, Dave's channel, Guja for the Win. So, if you haven't checked that out already, please do. This one's a little different though because I do run, well, as you can see, Verizian EX instead of the. Um, well, instead of a few other things. So, um, please check out that deck profile. It's on Guja for the Win's channel. Um, so, um, just a reminder, if you have any deck suggestions, please leave it in the comments below because this is free and I have access to all the cards except for the ones in Roaring Skies and Double Crisis, so don't ask for a Mega Rayquaza or a Mega Delayed deck yet because I would, I mean, I would love to, but the thing is, TCG1 doesn't have the update yet. So, please um, check that out and we already win because our opponent wasn't active. So we're going to try to join this game. And never mind, because I had bad timing. Alright, so while we're waiting... Oh, come on! There's so many matches that are going up. Doom Desire, come on. Okay, so my opponent will go first this time, and we start with the Spritzy, which is not the best starts, but... Oh, well. What? What's with all the non-response? Okay, there we go. So, we're seeing a Molga and a Pikachu. Um, okay. I've never seen this before. Um, so, let's see what this is. Well, while we're waiting, well, he's going to say part, sorry, but it's all good. Good, good luck. There we go. Sweet. All right, so, um, anyway, that's the first time anyone's ever messaged me. So, I'm going to go ahead and activate a Pokemon fan club since we look like we're in good shape. Um, so we're going to grab a Gardevoir and another, actually we're going to grab Xerneas. Where is the Xerneas? Okay, we're going to grab the Xerneas since we already got Spritzy in play. And we're going to go ahead and bench both of them. And a uh, Fairy Garden. And I'm going to attach a Fairy Energy to the, um, I'm going to attach it to Spritzy because it looks like we're in good shape for now. And we're going to go ahead and end turn. Okay, so usually a good start would be Xerneas, but he doesn't have any energies attached to the Emolga, and it looks like we're in good shape. So I'm going to go ahead and use Spritzy, and there's a Manek trick. So, oh, Professor Birch's observations? Okay, and he flipped heads, so... Okay, and he's got a Raichu. Yikes, okay. So, alright, now it's our turn. Oh, sweet, we got a Gardevoir Spirit Link, that's good. We'll attach the Fairy Energy to the Xerneas, and I'm... How many cards does he have in hand? Uh, I wish I knew how many cards he had in hand. Where did I find that? I guess I don't. Well, anyway, um, I'm gonna go ahead and fan club again, and I'm gonna grab. Um, let's see, I'm gonna grab a Suicune because I know that's gonna come up, and I'm gonna grab another Spritzy if I have another. There we go. I was afraid that they'd both be prized. I'm like, no, what are the odds? All right, so I'm gonna bench them both, and I'm gonna go ahead and retreat into the Xerneas, and I'm gonna have Zer Xerneas do Geomancy, and we'll attach one to Gardevoir and one to the. Uh, Suicune. There we go. And let's see what happens. Wait. Did I just get three energies? I think there's a little glitch with the Geomancy, but... Oh, well. Oh, no, 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 no never mind. It, it, it makes sense. Okay. I thought that it was a glitch, but I remembered that I attached a Spritzy, so I didn't get three. It, it's fair. <laughs> Alright, so... He switches out into... Ooh, he's already got a Mega Manectric. Okay. So, I gotta go ahead and call us here for six. And we did not get the um, Aromatism, fortunately, but we did get the Mega Gardevoir, which is good. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and attach the Rainbow to the uh, Suicune, because I know we're gonna need that soon. And let's go ahead and Geomancy again. We're gonna attach to the Mega Gardevoir and the other Spritzy this time, just in case. And... There we go. Sweet. Alright, so we're, we're, it looks like we're in good shape. I mean, I know the Mega Man is going to be dishing some damage soon, and, and he just did. Okay, there we go. Perfect timing. We, we got the Aromatist. That is very, very good. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, let's see. I don't. I really don't want to bench the Xerneas. I don't think I will. I'll go ahead and attach the Fairy to the Mega Gardevoir, because that means we can do some damage. How many damage are we doing already? Let's see. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's 180. That's not enough. Okay. So, hmm. Let's see what I want to do here. Um, actually, I know what I want to do. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and play Lysander, and I'm going to switch out with the Emolga. And then I'm going to go ahead and retreat into the Mega Gardevoir. There we go. <laughs> Alright, we're going to have a fairy transfer the one off the damaged one to the Suicune. That way we can do some damage. And, uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and Brilliant Arrow that son of a gun for the knockout. And that's a free two prizes. Awesome. And we get we pick up an Aromatiz and a Culverse, which is really good because I don't want to discard Xerneas as much as I Well, I don't know. We'll see. So he's going to promote the Raichu since Raichu does have free retreat cost, which makes sense. And uh, I think he played another Birch, yeah. And out comes the Mega Manectric, which is kind of scary, but we'll, be, we'll live. So there's the Aromatiz. Um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and activate Juniper. I think it won't be too bad. We'll go ahead with Juniper. And there we go. We have Verizian. Um, not really what I want, but it'll be fine. Uh, we do get another Rainbow Energy, so I'll go ahead and um, try to think what I should do. Oh, wait. We get a Rainbow or a Fairy Energy, so we'll attach that to the uh, Aromatiz. So how many Fairy Energies we got now? Have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have nine. I'm pretty sure we got this. <laughs> we can knock out the Mega Manectric, which is really cool. So he's going to promote the Raichu, and he can Thunderbolt me for the knockout if he gets the energies, but I think, wait, yeah, that's game. Awesome. That is really, really good. Okay, so... As you guys can see, Mega Gardevoir is very, very aggressive. Um, I know that really wasn't really what a deck that we can typically see. Um, right now, the format's not too friendly to Gardevoir, unfortunately, due to Seismitoad and Garbodor. But ho I'm hoping, on one side, I'm kind of hoping that they rotate the black and white sets. But on the other side, I'm kind of hoping they don't because I do like Darkrai. But I'm sick of Garbodor, <laughs> even though I do like to see him in... Okay, Doom Desire, I really don't want to join him again. I mean, he, he played well, but... I don't want to be that guy that's just like, oh, let's battle again. So I'm going to go ahead and see if anybody else wanted to give a shot at him. But um, while we're waiting, um, I meant to uh, do a little deck profile on my Empoleon Flareon build. So um, that will be going up soon. Also, um, please, I need deck suggestions. <laughs> please leave me deck suggestions because otherwise I'm just going to use decks that I like. And right now I've already used my Flareon Empoleon, my Mega Manectric, Shift Tree, and I'm using my Mega Garbodor right now. Next up, I'm probably going to use my Evil Tall Garbodor Seismitoad, even though, like, I love Evil Tall to death. I hate Garbodor and Seismitoad, though. But, unfortunately, Seismitoad and Garbodor are the best partners for Evil Tall. So, I did run Evil Tall Mega Manectric when I went to Regionals, but it didn't really do too well due to, uh, one deck's a loot. Well, Fairies were a really bad matchup for my deck, and also Dawn Fan. Dawn Fan trashed my deck. So, Safeguard trashed it too. Uh, I just wish that I would have ran Absol after that. <laughs> but Dawn Fan wrecked it. No pun intended. Okay, so here we go. We've got another guy in Memo 94. So let's see how this works. Okay, so we're going to go first this time, and we actually are going to start with a Suicune just in case, which is actually a really good start. Ooh! Okay. You're going to be that guy, huh? You are going to be that guy. That runs a freaking Wailord deck. Okay. Well, guess what? We're going to be that guy that gets aggressive immediately. So I'm going to play Pokemon Mangle. <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and get a Xerneas and an Aromatis. And bench them both. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give the Fairy Energy to the Suicune since we're safe. And end my turn. Wow. Okay. Okay. So, this is going to be a very interesting matchup. Um, let's see. What does Jinx do? Um, okay, so he can heal 10 damage. So, Jinx is a troll. Um, the one that I've commonly seen the most was an Aurorus. Or, yeah, Aurorus, which is prevents 20 damage from hitting it, so basically turns him into a tank. Bergmite. Okay, you activate it in. So we can um, 
Go ahead and discard Verizian because I know we won't, we won't really need that. Okay, so it's our turn. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, attach the... Well, first I'm going to bench another Gardevoir just in case. Got to give the Spirit Link to this one. Um, hmm. I'm going to play Ultra Ball. I'm going to discard the Ultra Ball and Verizian because I know I won't be needing those. And I'm going to go ahead and search for a... Uh, where is it? I'm going to search for an Aromatis because we need it. As much as I like to search for Gardevoir. Um, we'll go ahead and play that. And then I'm going to go ahead and Professor Juniper for 7. We get another Gardevoir Spirit Link. And now I wish I would have done Mega Gardevoir because we just got an Aromatis. But that's okay. Um, that's fine. And we'll go ahead and attach the Fairy Energy to the Xerneas. Retreat into the Xerneas. And we're going to go ahead and Geomancy while we can. And we'll attach them both to the Gardevoirs. There we go. Sweet. Alright, so this deck does go really fast. Um, now we can Fairy Transfer as well, which is really, really good. Um, unfortunately, though, I'm probably... I'm going to have to keep Geomancy in because that Whale Lord is a tank. Like, this... It's not even a Mega, but it's got the most HP. But with, that's one of um, Whale Lord's biggest um, characteristics, though. It's known as the biggest Pokemon in, in, the, in general in the game. And... Well, it's also known for having the most HP because it is the biggest Pokemon. So, yeah. So far, though, I mean, out of all the decks that I've tested out, this has been the best. Well, obviously, because, I mean, Mega Manectric Shift Tree is not really a common idea. I mean, it's an idea that I would like to think that I came up with. And Flareon and Polion was not a, a uh, common idea until that one state, or that one regional. But anyway, um, so we get another Fairy Energy. I'll go ahead and attach it to the Gardevoir. Um, okay. I'm going to go ahead and activate Professor Juniper, because I don't think we need that third Gardevoir Spirit Link at this point. And thank goodness we get found a Mega Gardevoir. Alright, now let's see how much damage we're doing. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. That's not enough, because it's only doing 150. Okay. So, um, what do I have my discard pile? Uh, I have a, a bunch of stuff. That's for sure. <laughs> a bunch of stuff. Um, but there's nothing that's dowsing machine worthy. So um, I think this would just be an, another good turn of Geomancy. And we're going to attach the Mega Gardevoir and the Gardevoir. And that means next turn we'll be doing a 210. Gosh. I'm just going to have to keep Geomancy in because it's a good thing that Whale Lord is slow because this gives us a lot of time to set up. So, hopefully next turn we can dish out a lot of damage. We'll see. Um, oh, he surrendered. I think he knows at this point that he lost because Waylord is a bit slow. And we still got plenty of time for another match. So, this shows you guys that, yeah, Mega Gardevoir, even though the format is not friendly to it, it's very, very strong. So, if you don't run the right thing, it's going to really screw you up. Sasmato does screw it up, unfortunately. McDude, that's new. So we'll go ahead and go up against him. Awesome. And he'll go first. And we actually don't have a bad start. Gardevoir or Xerneas are really the Pokemon you want to start with. Or Suicune. And, oh, great. Another Mew. Yay, surprise. We got another Nightmare. But on the bright side, we don't need to set up too much. Because Mew is the one with the most HP. I mean, I'm assuming that's what it is. Because, I mean, I don't know of any other decks that run Mew except maybe Eradicate deck or... A, what else have I seen? I've seen Regigigas, and I've seen, uh, believe it or not, I've seen Double Aid, too. It's weird. Like, uh, it's just extremely weird. So, he's going to go first. We're still waiting on him for him to make his move, but while he's making his move, um, like I said before, this is going to be really easy because we don't have to set up as much. We just need four fairy energies, and we're fine. Um, Mew EX is the most tanked card in a Night March deck and it only has 120 HP. So I think um, as long as he doesn't set up, because he's taking his time thinking so, you know for a fact that he doesn't have a Battle Compressor, he doesn't have an Acro Bike or whatever it has that helps set up a Night March unless he's thinking about how he's going to pull it off, which honestly Night March is... Oh, never mind, he's got an Acro Bike. And he discarded Joltik, so... Wow, he already attached DCE to Mew. Okay, so... Wow, okay. 
That's got me a little afraid. Well, at least he didn't activate Battle Compressor, so we can go ahead and bench the Suicune, attach the Fairy Energy to the Gardevoir, play the Fairy Garden, retreat into the Suicune so we don't take any damage. Very, very good start already. And we have three cards in hand, and I got nothing useful, so we'll go ahead and call us for three, and that didn't help. But we did get an in, so at least we got to draw support for next turn, which is really, really good. All right. Um. So now it's his turn. And I wish I knew how many... Oh, there's, there's his hand size. His hand's at five. And oh, it's already our turn. Nice. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and attach the fairy energy to the Suicune this time so we can have free retreat. We're going to play N just to... Oh, there we go. Gardevoir Spirit Link on the one with fairy energy. Mega Evolve. And then we'll go ahead and end our turn with the second Mega Evolution. So, because I mean, we don't, really don't have anything else to do. So, so far, we're very, we're exploding right now. <laughs> this is actually really explosive. I mean, usually Night March is the one that's supposed to uh, be really explosive. But, um, yeah, I mean, he hasn't even gotten a Night March attacker out yet. Like, he doesn't have a Joltik. He doesn't have a Pumpkaboo. We're in good shape. Oh, never mind. He <laughs> just activated Battle Compressor. But on the bright side, though, Suicune is a very good staller. So... He still needs a Night Marcher on the field to use the attack. So he can't really do anything. Alright, so good news is we did draw Professor Juniper. Um, I would activate Pokemon Fan Club to get Spritzies, but I want to keep this deck going, and I don't think we need another Gardevoir, actually. Um, no, we don't need another Gardevoir. I'll just go ahead and discard it. And... Okay, well, we got stuff to help. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and attach the Fairy Energy to the Gardevoir, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and Ultra Ball... I'm going to discard the teammates and the guard of our spirit link because we don't need either of those right now. And I can always get that back. And now that I think about it, I probably shouldn't attach the fairy energy this turn because I could have um, geomancy with my uh, Xerneas. But it'll be fine. Like I said, we're in good shape. Um, probably would have been better off going ahead and doing the geomancy, but um, we'll be fine. Okay, so we're going to end our turn right here. And. At this rate, I mean, we got a max potion in hand, and I, it's going to take a lot to knock out the Gardevoir. So, I think we'll be fine. Um, we just got to wait and see what he does next. Um, discard Pumpkaboo, two Pumpkaboos with Computer Search, yikes. Let's get Professor Juniper. And he ended up drawing seven cards from that, obviously, because that's what Juniper does. Um, he hasn't, we, have, we haven't seen Night Marcher yet. This is actually pretty bad for my opponent. I actually feel pretty bad for him. He, he needs a Joltik to... Um, if I were him, I probably wouldn't have discarded the Joltik. Oh, there we go. He Ultra Ball for the Joltik. Okay, so now Mew can use Night March, which is scary. And now he played Dimension Valley, so we don't get the free retreat cost, so we're stuck where we're at. Um, Yikes. Okay, this <laughs> maybe would have wished I could have done the Geomancy. But it'll be fine. It will be okay. Um... Gosh, how many Night Marchers does he have in his discard pile? Okay, so we're going to take this turn to look in his discard pile. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He's got nine. Okay, so he's already doing 180 damage. That's a really, really scary. Um, we're going to go ahead and attach the Rainbow to the Suicune. I think I'm just going to have Suicune do the damage because we don't have draw support. And we top deck to Mega Gardevoir, which we don't need because our other Gardevoir is in the discard pile. So. We're going to go ahead and see where this gets us, because... Um, this Mew is annoying. <laughs> so, uh, being able to use any attack. See, this is the reason why you need to run like multiple energies with Mew, in my personal opinion, because if you have a fairy energy, um, they could use... Well, I would say they can use Geomancy, but they don't run fairy energies. Well, if they run water energies, they could than Aurora Beam, but then again, it can do damage this weekend, so maybe maybe I'm wrong with what you should run. Um, so player A drew seven cards, so I'm guessing he activated Professor Juniper. Yep. Um, he's got 22 in his discard. Right now would be a good time to play Lysander's Trump card. Um, I don't even know, I forgot if I even run one of those in the deck, but Probably do. So yeah, how many has he got? One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, he's still got nine. So he's not knocking out Mega Gardevoir just yet. Um, I think that we're going to actually win this. I mean, I would like to top deck a Fairy Garden so I can just go ahead and one-shot things, but... Wait, Water Energy is discarded. Oh, I played Battle Compressor. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. I was going to say I attached to Rainbow Energy, but oh well. It's all good. <sighs> okay. So, okay, now it's our turn. So, Verizian EX isn't going to help, but good news is we can actually attack finally. So, we're going to just go ahead and Aurora Beam this week, or not this weekend, but the Mew. And I think at this point, uh, Suicune is going to be our best option until the Joltik comes out. So, Suicune will be a good staller. Um, you can dish out 50 damage on um, each of the Mews. Oh, he lies, Sandered. Ah, oh. wow, that's going to hurt. That is going to hurt. Okay, well, he's going to pay for that. Oh, well, you know, another Xerneas. Well, we could use another one of those, thank goodness. Um, but, uh, come on, please give us draw support. Please give us draw support. And, uh, we got Xerneas in a row with this. If I had a Spritz, yeah, I wouldn't be complaining, but... <clears throat> I probably should have activated Pokemon Fan Club, to be honest. <laughs> should have activated Pokemon Fan Club. Alright, so he's promoting the Mew again, which I would have... Well, I probably personally would have preferred the Joltik, but you know that's whatever my opponent's thinking. Yeah, we're doing we're doing all right on time. I think we can finish this on time and we're not go over time, so it'll be fine. So one of the arguments that Pro Pokemon said about um, Mega Gardevoir not being too well is the fact that um, Night March is really fast. But the thing is it's gonna take a lot of effort did he just lie Sander up my Mega Gardevoir? <sighs> this guy's this guy just got all the right answers. And he just did 200 damage. Right now would be a really good time to have an Aromatist. <laughs> right now would be a very good time to have an Aromatist. But, um, I can't complain too much because we did get the Fairy Energy and we can actually knock out this Mew EX. I think I'll go ahead and do that because after that we can just, um, I mean, I really don't want to. But, I mean, what other choice do we have, really? So we'll go ahead and Brilliant Arrow for the knockout. And we get a Spritzy. That's good. And another Fairy Energy, like we need that. Alright, so my guess is he's going to just attach another Energy to the Mew and then um, finish off Mega Gardevoir. Which wouldn't be a bad move, but after that, I'm, I'm going to come back with Suicune. And... Hopefully that'll put him in a really good, bad position, unless he pulls out another Lysander, which I'm hoping he doesn't. There we go, Fairy Garden, good. And we also got a Fairy Energy, that's also good. Mm. Ah, now I'm going to go ahead and bench this Britzy. And next turn we'll have an Aromatease, and we'll get an Aurora Beam. I think we got this in the bag. Because even if he Lysanders, it's not going to knock out my Jolt, or it's not going to knock out my uh, Mega Gardevoir. And. We can just fairy transfer the fairy energy, retreat into... Oh, no. That's not good. Oh, and he got rid of my fairy garden again. Jeez Louise. Oh. That's going to hurt. Okay, I spoke too soon. Last Ender's trump card would be really good right now because well, most of my fairy energies are in the discard pile at this point. This is really, really bad. This is actually a really good game, though. I mean, I can't complain. So, unfortunately, there goes my... Uh, okay, I want to promote the Xerneas. Might as well, because Xerneas is the least useful. Dowsing Machine. Thank goodness. Okay, we're going to activate Dowsing Machine. I want to get rid of the Verizian EX and the Mega Gardevoir. And we're going to grab a... Hmm. What, 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 am I, what do I really need? I can grab teammates, but I'm trying to think about what, other, what two cards what I need. I'm going to need Fairy Guards. I'm going to grab teammates. I'm going to activate teammates. And let's see which two am I going to grab. Um, hmm. Definitely going to grab the Fairy Energy. And... I forgot what else I needed. 
Oh man, Trump card is in the press. <sighs> Trump card's in the press. Fairy Garden. All right, I'm gonna grab Fairy Garden and Fairy Energy. And we'll attach that to the Mega Gardevoir. There we go. And we're gonna go ahead and Geomancy. And we're gonna attach to these two. So, this is actually a pretty good game. So, I got my opponent in a tough situation. And, um, oh, there's a problem. I just realized there was a problem. Uh, maybe we, we don't have this. I just wish Trump card was not in the prize. If Trump card wasn't in the prize, oh, we would have been in such good shape, but this is a different story. <laughs> I like how, like, in all my video, oh no, Lysander, really, you're going to do that to me? That's not going to knock it out, though, is it? Nope, never mind, it does, so that's game, my opponent wins. Alright, so, uh, wow, that was actually a really good game. But, uh, yeah, I can't complain, I mean, we, we actually did really, really good. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and stop right there, and I want to take it this time to say thank you again so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed my content, please um, subscribe to this channel. I do upload two videos a day, one LP, one TCG1 video, and that's all I have. Hope you guys have an awesome day, but more importantly, stay cool.